Hey girls, we're just doing a real quick video to kind of give you an idea of what to expect tomorrow night at the dance school. What I have here is an order form. I'm going to text you a copy of this so that you can go ahead and see it and kind of, you don't need to study it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but be familiar with it. And then also what I'm, I have here are our dance proofs. This is just a sample box. Everything will be alphabetized A through Z and they'll be on some table behind us. I'm not sure of the setup yet, but basically you'll have to go and pull each set of proofs as clients come up. You should be able to serve, we're hoping three people at one time uh, because we have the six foot tables where we'll have three clipboards per table. So I'm hoping that you can assist three people at one time. So basically Scott and I are gonna try to act really quickly um, like where I'm selling obviously and Scott is the parent so um, basically the parent would come up and I'd say hi how are you today hi do you have pictures of my child I do what is your child's name Hadley branch all right then I would run over to the box I'd pull Hadley's proofs Hadley has quite a few so I'm not gonna put them all out but I'm gonna show you what I would do um, I normally lay the proofs down on the table uh, Scott and Hunter do not, so I'll leave that up to you. You can either hand it to them or lay them on the table. And um, we don't let the client take the proofs away from the table. So the answer is always no, because all they're going to do is take a picture of it, and they're fine with that. So they have to leave them on the table. So if they have to go talk to a parent, another parent, a, a, a spouse or a grandparent, they're going to have to go do that and come back. We did allow people to FaceTime grandparents while they were at the table last time. So I'll leave that up to you. But basically, I'd lay out the forms and they would just be looking at them and I would start to explain a few things. Here are the few things I would explain. I'd say, um, if, if you haven't seen your group images, your group images can be found on the computer over there. You just scroll through there to view them. Um, here today, we just have the individual poses and um, our order form. And if you take a look at the order form quickly, you'll see that package A, B, C, and J do include a group photo. People are always gonna ask about group photos. So they do come in packages A, B, C, and J, which I am sending you this form, but they can also purchase anything a la carte. So they can purchase a group photos a la carte, and they can be lo they're located on the right side of this form here. So always make a point to explain the group photos. And I also tell them that you can purchase anything in the package or any of these prints a la carte. We also have digital files available and that's pretty self-explanatory on the page. And so then I would, the client would normally start asking questions. Um, these are good pictures. Can I take these home today? You sure can. So that is a good question. Normally I do enter that when I'm selling and I forgot. These are our printed proofs. They are a four by five once we snip off the barcode there. Um, and so basically when they come up, I'll tell them, you can take all of these pictures home today with you. Awesome. You can purchase them a la carte. They're $7 each. Or if you buy a package A through K, they're only $5 each. Okay. And I always say only um, just because, I mean, $7 is a lot and $5 is a lot, but I don't want parents to start thinking that it's a lot of money and start doing the math. I know that sounds terrible, but it's part of my sales technique. So um, you can take them all okay. home today. What does a memory mate look like? I don't even know what a memory a mate memory is. A memory mate, you can find it over on our product table, okay. but that's basically going to be an individual as well as a group. And we'll know how to, yes, too? they're all over there. And for anything like the memory mate or group photos, our software will match them up according to the pose that you purchased for that. So you don't have to worry about getting us a group photo number. Okay. Well, I would like a proof of her in the green dress. I okay. would like to take these pictures home with me today. Uh -huh. And then I would like a package A of that one. Okay. I don't want the rest of these. Okay. So at this point, we would start having them fill out their order form. They're going to need to complete the top. And sometimes just to make it easier, I finish the form for them. But a lot of people are efficient and can fill out the form properly. But any, either way, you're going to need to double check it. So basically, Scott has filled out this, and he's going to do one of the packages, which will come with the team photo, and I'll repeat that. So basically, we're doing a package K, and then we're going to add on two proofs for $5 each. And so the total today will be um, $26. Okay. Okay. So um, at this point, I am going to refer the client over to me. I'll be at checkout. This year, we're trying to put the checkout separate 
than the sales tables just because the sales tables get really busy. So you'll just direct them over to me. I will check them out. However, before we check them out, you're going to need to do a couple of things. We, um, I did not bring it over, but we actually have, what do you call those? Paper cutters. Paper cutters paper cutters where you can trim the barcode. We'll show you that tomorrow night when you get there. But um, anything that is purchased in a package or um, product, we're going to snip off the barcode and staple it right at the top. We'll show you that. And that's the form they'll bring over to me. How do you guys know which group picture to put on there? Our software will match up their group photo automatically according to the the outfit that we but choose. But I don't see a number on the group photo on the computer. That's correct because our software knows okay. that <laughs> what group photo goes with, with what outfit. You don't I have to worry you. about that at all. And so basically that's a real quick scenario. When will I get my pictures? Uh, that's a good question. Generally uh, we tell people that they will arrive two weeks after the sales event back to the dance studio. However, this year we are offering an option to ship to home. You'll see it on the form and if they're shipping to home, they'll need to complete the bottom portion. Again, I'm going to send you this form so you don't have to worry about that. And um, if they've ordered digital files, we also tell them that they will receive those in about a week via email, but we will follow that up with a disc to the dance studio. Um, also, at this dance studio, it's possible they might ask about DVDs because we are selling DVDs to them. Uh, these are performance DVDs. If they ask about that, you can just send them to me at checkout. That's not going to be anything that you guys have to deal with because I'll have to do a separate form for that. Anything else you can think of? Mm, nope. Well, we, I hope this helped. It either helped or totally confused you. So you can text me with any questions or call me, but I'll see you guys tomorrow night, 3.30 at Kempsville High School, and I think that's it. We'll brief you more once you get there.